good evening everyone so today uh, session agenda is we'll talk about introduction to machine learning then we discuss some real life scenario and after that we analyze how things actually work in day to day life are you ready yes great so uh, this particular concept whenever you heard machine learning it is one of the most demanding uh, concept in today's world right but this is not introduced initially it was introduced in the 90s but people now using this technology for their different purpose so arthur samuel one of the uh, person who introduced this term in 1959 on the basis of which technology artificial intelligence so whenever you talk about machine learning indirectly you are talking about the artificial intelligence because ml is a part of that where your computer gaming and lot of recommended systems we are using a official assistants ai approach all those will be the part of this particular thing so when we say machine learning it's a field of study that gives us an approach the capability to learn without being explicitly program when we say without being explicitly program means we don't need to uh, do the coding from the outside the machine can learn it from itself and then perform the task from the picture it elaborate human says i can learn things by my own then machine says whatever the data or information you are storing inside me i can also learn from my previous experiences and i can give you the result is it clear everyone Yes, yes great now from this picture what you conclude how you relate this picture with the term with the topic we are discussing machine learning everybody i need some response according to you how it will what is your approach when you see these two pictures one is showing offline mode of shopping and okay. the second one is online mode so okay fine good sneha what about rest in the online mode of shopping they provide offers okay next free deliveries okay as well as vouchers no. like that in the second in the second one the offline they use the strategy like showing the products uh, in the cashier uh... okay anybody else would like to add some point quickly give me some answer no online mode they collect or no online mode they collect and uh, feed all the details like a cycle what is the order how it it will be delivered like yeah so from this picture if you will see the concluded part it is not only about the offline and the online concept when it says a machine learning part you always see when you search for one product the recommended products will be there reflect for uh, the re recommended products will be reflecting for you right yes or no Yes, like yes. i want to purchase one of the juice product or one of the drinks once i'm just selecting that product or adding the 
other products of the different brands are reflecting in the bottom correct it's a kind yes. of targeted marketing they are doing from our machine or from our preferences they used to select what kind of target they can achieve when it comes to offline you can see in the offline there is no uh, machine learning approach but you have seen when at the time of counter bill payment at the counter they set up a separate section which can easily catch the attention of a customer or put the things which can be easily purchased by kids because you know when you will you are paying the bills if uh, if your kid is want to purchase something then you have to keep take it from there correct another kind of targeted marketing indirectly their product gets sold out within few minutes without explaining much about that yes or no yes yes so same way in the online one they used to show the uh, products and the approach in this way so that people will get their information and purchase that thing so it's one kind of target marketing next this one i want lot of inputs from all of you because you are the main user of these medias what do you think nothing like evolution of uh, different apps hmm you have to correlate these social media apps with the concept of machine learning what do you think yes miss as you said that uh, they are targeting market like that when we yes, see the same instagram all ads through in some uh, they will show us the same or similar content when Correct. we visit okay see when if i i'm a person who would like to see the reels of music particular section of musics or particular section of writing or cooking automatically in my recommendation system also in the recommendation the followers of that particular accounts which have the similar kind of interest or the similar kind of reels will be reflecting over there right yes no yes yes it will same on the linkedin yes. platform if i'm following a person who is well versed in data science in data analytics or if someone well versed in java automatically linkedin also gives some notification that you can uh, follow this person this person also have the same content like which you are following for the other person so this kind of recommendation we used to get on most of the social media platform whether it's a youtube on youtube you have seen most of the time the recommended channels are reflecting because of your preferences which you have previously used correct if i want to uh, listen some kind of party music so automatically in my feed of youtube there will be different party musics recommended will be there i would like to see that or not it depends automatically this task is done by the youtube on the basis of the preferences of my past data which whatever i have in my history of my account is it clear everyone yes miss for this is not only about youtube instagram or linkedin if you will use any one of the platforms like uh, snapchat pin interest reddit twitter all those will follow this kind of thing so machine learning is uh, widely used in social media networking sites as well and you can see most of the datas are also generated by these platforms correct yes or no yes next now from this picture what will you conclude
Customer. Customer. Okay, customer. Fine. What about rest except the customer? Nothing. Targeting the customers by their needs with their informations. Mm -hmm. Correct. See, we say we are predicting or we are classifying. When we say machine learning, we used to say we predict. Correct. When we have a lot of data, like if I have thousands of data, in that data, I feel this 20% of the section will definitely purchase this service or not. So we are making a prediction on that basis we are targeting our customers correct yes or no yes. we make prediction yes. whether this person will purchase this thing or not on the base of prediction we generally categorize we build strategy and we implement so machine learning is not only for the recommendation purpose only for the marketing it will also predict like you have seen in can you someone tell me how in health me uh, health field how machine learning is helping us or there is no usage according to you whatever you feel it is depend on the similar queries it has what the similar query received by the customers no uh, my question is in field of uh, health in this you have clearly mentioned that it is for the predictive one how we say machine learning is used in uh, health field how they record the previous treatment and um, yes, correct. With anybody else? She clearly mentioned with the previous record statement, if I have to say someone is diabetic or not, or someone will uh, suffering from this particular disease. So I can blindly say this person will suffer from this disease. No. We we'll check the past data mm -hmm. of that patient mm -hmm. and on that basis we predict it will be the scenario or it will not be the scenario. Clear? Yes. Next, machine learning is an application of AI which enable us a program or software to learn from the experiences, improve their self task without being explicitly programmed. So it is one of the application of AI, which helps the programmer to learn from past experience, whatever the history you have, whatever the data you have feeded from their experiences and on that basis improve and perform the task means nobody will going to tell you you have to do this just like human beings whenever we do some mistake or whenever we learn something good on the basis of that experience we took the next step and perform that thing correct yes no yes how would you write a program you can identify a fruit based on some property it can be color shape size or any other property can be if i have to tell to someone this will be fruit so we need to mention some category uh, like characteristics or the category it will be which kind of fruit it will be with in which color size shape all those things when we categorized animals, then also we put it has four legs, two wings, all those things we put over there, correct? Or we directly yes. say it's an animal. No, no. No. So whenever it comes to machine learning, data is the main fuel 
means the main thing without data machine learning is not possible and we can say easy to say that if you don't have data there will not be machine learning and you can see after the evolution of internet and when we have uh, this good internet facility we are generating huge amount of data and with the help of machine learning approach we are analyzing data in an effective manner in terms of visualization in terms of reporting in terms of machine learning models in terms of predicting correct yes everyone yes okay now it's time for analysis as a just imagine you are a machine and you have to purchase mango what will be your approach to purchase that mango if okay leave it for a machine for a minute if you are a person and you have to go to the market to purchase mango how will you do that it's size and its color it's color sweet or yeah we used to check the quality the yes. quantity and the shape size color because mango is not only in yellowish green it is pure yellow it is pure green as well right yeah no yes so it is our prior experience if we want to eat mango for our uh, breakfast or for uh, i want to prepare a shake so that what kind of mango i need that i will get from my previous experience or on that basis i used to do this correct yes no yes yes so this is one of the approach of analyzing do you think some other way also the same way machine also uh, take the past or previous experiences and on that basis it will predict whether it will be a mango or not correct whether we should purchase yes. this mango or not great so in tomorrow session we'll do the next topic